Okay, here I have my patient, Julie. She came in today uh, complaining um, of sensitivity on the upper right when she eats sweets and when she drinks cold liquids. So we're gonna take a peek in her mouth and see what's going on. I'm gonna be using my intraoral camera so I can get a bigger view of what's um, going on with her tooth and I can also use it to show her uh, the problem. All right, that looks good. And let's go back a little farther. Open a little wider, please. All right, that looks good. All right, so with the intro camera, I was able to take uh, an enlarged, very clear photo of the early cavities that Julie has uh, on the upper right. I like to diagnose cavities at the earliest stage possible because um, that way I can avoid having to drill away more tooth structure. I can often get the filling done without giving my patient a shot because I'm going to use air abrasion to remove the cavity. Oftentimes a cavity like this won't be treated at an early stage and that's the advantage of the air abrasion is I can easily treat this without any discomfort to the patient no shots no drilling and it'll enable me to keep the cavity very very small and I'll be able to preserve all of this good tooth structure many times I'll have a patient come in and if they had come in sooner um, I could have found their cavity at a small stage and done the air abrasion procedure, but it's not necessarily the philosophy of um, other offices to treat a cavity early. They sometimes just watch them for a little bit too long and at that point you have no choice but to uh, numb the patient up and drill the cavity away. All right, Julie, I'm gonna go ahead and lean you back and we're gonna do the air abrasion procedure and take care of your cavities. Okay. Can we get her some safety glasses, please? Mm All right, let me have the mirror and the explorer first. Okie dokie. A little bit of air here, number three. All right, here we go. Let's do a little bit of rinsing for her. Can you open? A lot of water. Open Close down. Good. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more. Alright, we're going to rinse this out and then we're going to take another intraoral photo just to show how we were able to remove the cavity. 
are out. Have you felt any discomfort at all? Mm -mm. Julie, no, it's all been good? Yes. Dry it off for me. That's going to be good. Let's go ahead and rin rinse it and we'll take a picture. picture. Dry it off really well for me. Open. Uh, is that clear or no? Yes. All right, go ahead. All right, so that's the picture with the cavity taken out. Let's go ahead and get this filled. Okay. Okay, so here we are. We're getting ready to fill her cavity. We were able to remove the cavity without giving her a shot, without drilling into her tooth. She's not numb at all, and she hasn't had any pain. We're going to be putting in a bonded filling. It's a tooth-colored filling. We call it a composite. We don't use the metal fillings anymore. Too many bad metals in the silver fillings, and uh, over time they can tend to crack your teeth. So. Almost all dentists um, don't do the amalgams anymore. These are bonded to the tooth. That was the bonding solution. And then I'm going to take the uh, flowable. Because we just made tiny little holes in her tooth by removing the cavity, I can use a, a flowable material. It's kind of creamy and it just flows into the prep or the cavity. Uh, the other good thing about air abrasion, it leaves the surface of the tooth really super clean and creates little nooks and crannies for the filling to get a better bond. That's the other reason I like it. I've used air abrasion for almost 20 years. I couldn't even practice a day without it. Okay, I'm going to cure that. And the great thing about composite fillings is uh, they're strong. As soon as we cure them with the light, uh, you can go ahead and chew with them. When we used to do silver fillings, we would have to tell patients to wait 24 hours before they could really chew with them for them to reach their fullest strength. All right, we're going to give her a little rinse here. There we go. You doing okay, Julie? Yes. All right, let's take a picture of the filling. See how it looks. And 
Okay, that's good. And there we have it. Why don't you enlarge it, put it full, uh, full screen. Wow. And you can see that the cavity is gone. It's a nice filling, blends into the tooth. And did it all without a shot and without drilling. And the only way you can do that is if you find cavities when they're small. How long would you say 